Welcome to No Man's Sky Permadeath Mode, and here we are guys, we're up on the space station of the system that I discovered at the end of the last part. In that last part I found exactly what I was looking for, I just want to go up and show you guys. Just get into here, and we're just going to come here, and what I actually found skip through this guys it's not particularly that interesting is here I've actually found the freighter warp reactor theta which I really want so I'm not leaving this system until I've got that and I think if any of you guys watched that video you'd be aware that I thought I had more nanites than I actually did what I actually did was I spent an exciting I think it's about nearly three hours tidying up all my various vaults and ships gathering all the resources together and just to show you guys my freighter now has everything all joined up here I've also got the beginnings of keeping all my freighter fuel up in here in fact I, what I, I don't actually let's have a quick look uh, and I've also filled up my freighter with the necessary warp fuel so I've had a really good tidy up to sort things out simply because well I needed to gather everything up let's ask for some directions see where he's going to send us a trading post detected particularly that interested in going to a trading post and I have done a bit of exploration of this system it's not turning in to be particularly useful because uh, I've, I've put my radium mine down let me just get out into space and I'll show you guys So we got this airless planet here, and over here we've got a icebound planet here with a trading station on it. But I'm not going to go back to there because it's it's got absolutely no life on it whatsoever. Um, so I'm starting to think that I may have to, well, start gaining the nanites that I need another system but we still got this one here which I can't remember what that actually is pass some resources out the way throw out a scan it's a tropical planet that's it because it's a tropical planet it means there's a very very good chance that all the sentinels are going to be hostile that we may be actually mining sentinels for, for Nanites. The other thing I also want to do is I've, I'd love to get a planet with some a lot of creatures on it so I could get some of these missions down. The two planets that I've already investigated, one, well, the one, the cold planet's got no life on at all and, and the other one had minimal fauna on it so it was a bit of a waste of time trying to hunt creatures on there. I'm hoping maybe this planet will be a little bit more interesting. If not, I'm going to have to fall back onto plan B which means we're going to have to visit one of my other systems possibly even the, my home system and see if we can find a planet that we can actually hunt down nanites on right guys so we're here mm. there's a base over there guys so let's, let's get the get the ball rolling uh, I'd say that this is actually minimal base so we're not going to worry about that so right guys, we're going to go the usual routine, I'm going to fly across the surface looking for a base. This actually looks a pretty rough old planet actually. Right, I've found a trading station, which, well, what I'm going to do is put down on the trading station guys just to see what type of planet that we've got here and whether it's worth, can be can worth exploring. So we're just going to land on it. I mean, for a tropical paradise, it's not particularly that pleasant to be honest superheated rain aggressive no fauna okay so this is a waste of time obviously this is going to be it's coming in here or what we got here and the other result of my search guys is that I've actually I need to upgrade my haulers to get extra space what on earth is this I don't remember seeing a ship like this it's a 28 slot fighter B class. Not bad, not bad. Uh, might as well. 
Oops, I didn't hold it long enough. Gotta get Relic, that could be useful. Right guys, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get back to the space station. I'm just gonna get up into space. I'm gonna have to live with the you can see Nada and Polo are here. But I'm not gonna bother them just at the moment. And I think it was Phil Silvers pointed out the fact that I don't actually need to visit Nada and Polo anymore because black holes always take you towards the center of the galaxy. So but I might drop in just to say hello. You never know, they might they might have a really fantastic multi tool in there. Right guys, here we are. We're back at the space station. It's gonna fly in. Right, actually let's just have a quick look. Wow. Okay, let's upload that lot. So just to recap guys, I've got this planet here, Starvolved one I just visited. No waypoints. Got this one with six species on, but it's so the species are so limited. I, I could spend ages wandering around there. Plus it's a hostile planet as well. You can see it's corrosive damp and we've got this one also is a hostile planet with no there, so it's got super cool storms on it with no fauna. So I think what we're gonna do is use plan B and just trouble is I can't remember so some of my other systems, it's so long since I've visited them, I can't actually remember what I've actually done. I think I've got a couple of missions to get rid of. So we just for one mission I think. Because the other thing I want to do is reduce the number of missions and hit missions. Oh, we've got one here. Thermic condensate. That's certainly going to take that. That's going to be very, very useful. Okay, thank you. Well, I'll have a quick browse. Hunt low level pirates, hunt predatory creatures. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Um, I think we're just going to grab the extra. Hunt predatory creatures. I mean, and uh, I mean, I could repair that damaged item. Okay, um, repair a damaged item. That's level three. That would give me nanite clusters. Okay, change the plan again. Mission puzzling machinery. Okay. Because then again, I suppose if I get all all the nanite clusters, I can then actually. Okay, let's do the mission. I mean, just to show you guys, I've got 425 nanites now. I did hunt round all my various storage boxes, and the comment I made at the end of the last part saying I thought I had another reserve of. And I, I think I must have been delusional because I didn't. Okay, puzzling machinery. Oh, go away. I'm busy. Do not annoy me. in the ship. Here we go again guys. Puzzling machinery. You can see everything is on this planet here. And it is a, a fairly hostile planet. Okay, here we go guys. Right, here we are guys. And find the landing point. There it is, just tucked in there. As you will see guys, as I jump out, super cooled storms, so we don't want, can't afford to hang around here too long, but well, what we can do is just check in here. I suppose the, the positive side is the fact that it's going to add to my actual overall 
capability one. Stop the shields maximum. Get a lot more nanites for the list. Another nine nanites. Grab the carbon. And there's a what we have where. Hello, Mr. Geck. Okay. Right, what do we got? Well, we, can, we can afford the iron, we can afford the iron iridium, and we can afford that. Boot sequence auto complete. Repairs complete, devices transmitting diagnostic results to owner. Transmit success. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Geck. Rare Balerium speech slug. In inedible nasal. <laughs> trader pulls a noisy. The trader pu uh, pulls open a noisy trade vault. A closer to inspection reveals that it's full of writhing mollusks. They are pink and slug like with sharp, bloody teeth. Life forms suggesting inserting one around my face, which would be benefits. Can make out whether which one it is. I think you put it in your ear, don't you? So it borrows deeper to my ear for better versed language at the traders. So that's one way to, that's a kind of take from the Hitchhiker's Guide from the Galaxy actually. What is it? A Babel Fish King. Okay. Um, I'm just going to grab this. I think the Sentinels on this planet are friendly. Alright, let's just... I'm just going to grab that. So got a Vakeen Dagger. Yes, I know. Right, let's just get out of here, guys, before I freeze to death. Can okay. do a little bit of scanning, make a bit more cash. Wow. Wait, I mean, that's the reason why I carry all three levels of shielding, guys. Because if you get caught out like this in a storm on a hostile planet, you can just top up and survive. Okay, I think what we will do is, how far away is that? 12 minutes, okay, if we get up into space. Seeing we're here, we might as well do the manufacturing base as well. That might give me some more nanites. Okay, where's the landing point? At least the storm's clearing. Okay, there it is. Still going to be mighty cold. Right. Puzzling machinery. Oops, I'm going to reload. Right. In we go. Yes. Thank you, Sentinels. Bit of carbon. That's it. Oh, we got some. One thing you don't seem to get very much of now is the old encyclopedias. You don't seem to see that as many. They used to be incredibly com common at once. You don't seem to see them so much now. You just they, they crop up occasionally. Resource fault, resource fault, fire detected element, element something, something that somewhere in the facility is on fire. A faint smoke begins to rise, and my scanner registers a steadily increasing temperature. Whatever product is created here won't last long. Mm. Element. What am I going to do? Staff chamber. I just like the sprinkler system. No impact on the internal fire. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Ah, uh, we got a few nanites, guys. So we got another 16. So we're, we're creeping towards the total. And some bit of plutonium there. Uh, sorry, Mr. Oh. Think. 
Okay. Oh, a few nanites. Well, we sneaked a few nanites, guys. So, get back up into space. Back to the space station and back to plan B. Into the space station. And of course, the other thing I was also thinking about, guys, is the exotic ship that I also got in the last part. I think I'm going to kit that out with all the necessary warp drives eventually. And that is the the ship that I'm going to use to go through the center of the galaxy, I think. Okay, joy, life, yes, yes. Uh, hand in mission. As well, standing with the merchant guild has increased. 118 nanites. Okay, browse missions. No, that one's, yeah, I can't do at the moment. I could get hunt that predatory creatures. Okay, gonna take it. Um, eight. So, let's see how many nanites we got now? Hundred twenty-three. That went quite well. Right. That means I've now. Oops. I mean, so I've got 500 now, so what I've got to do is actually gather a couple of hundred, 200 more, or less than 200 now, about 146, I think. Is that 46 or 36? 136, I think. So. Right. Where am I going to go to see if I can gather the rest of this? Go back to Paris, my base. We've got Mokuri um, Station, the Hisadi Station, and the Paris Station. And I think these are the old systems that I've been through quite recently. I? Let me just check that, guys. That. Uh, okay, there it is, there. It's got a caged little thorner on it. How many planets? That had four planets. So if we go back to that system, okay. Alright, we're going back to here. Although I've got a feeling that all the rest of the system planets in this system may have been dead, but we're just gonna have to check it out guys. Here we go. If not, I'm just gonna have to work in my home system. Uh, yeah, that's the desolate planet. This is an unknown planet over there. Okay, that's where we're going, guys. We're going to Ekigishishu. So it's high temperature solarium, aluminium, and nickel and iridium. So we'll, we'll go check this planet out and see what we can find on this planet. And I think what we'll do is we'll get into the atmosphere and we'll use the trick with the scanner. It's trading post detected. Where are you? Ah! And of course it's on another planet. Great. Right guys, same routine as ever. We're gonna fly across the surface of the planet. I'm not impressed. And see if we can find a base. Trading station here. Can I use that to my advantage? Okay guys, I'm gonna land here. I've got plenty of plutonium. I saw damaged machinery there. Right, what's the bad news? Superheated air. 
footballer typical. Okay. Okay. Right, we're on an extremely hot planet now. Okay. Right, let's grab that. Now, no, it's, that's a fair distance away. I, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to resort to, well, a bit of gratuitous violence. Hello, Mr. Creature. Right before. Hey. That's interesting, the fact that I didn't actually shoot at that creature and he that one actually turned hostile. That's interesting. Okay, let's get rid of some junk. While I'm here, let's get rid of the Corvax cube. And the Vakeen dagger. And get rid of the extra Gek relic. Don't think I actually got anything else. No, we're good. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I haven't done this in a long time. I think I've got the resources for it because this is an extreme planet and it's actually got creatures on it. What I'm going to do is, if I can remember actually what I'm going to do, and so I haven't done this for a long time. What I'm going to do is deploy the Roma. I haven't done any Roma exploration for quite some time, but. I think the advantage with the Roma is that I can get out and explore the planet and zap some creatures and of course we can more importantly we can actually gather this damaged machinery. Right. Hello. Are you hostile or friendly? Are you friendly? Okay. Right. What are these missions I've got anyway? What are they? Let's have a quick look. Um, hunt, exterminate, predator. I need a predator. Uh, kill, kill creatures. Okay. It's just. I've got to kill 28 creatures, okay. So here we are guys, we're going to do a bit of Roma exploration. Like there's some, ah, now that looks like one of the, that looks like exactly what I'm looking for. He's a predatory, I'm sure if I jump out and scan. Yep. Be hostile. I don't understand why. You're a predator? Yep. Superheated air, wow. Okay guys. Here we go. Uh, we're going to need, I need some fuel. Well, let's keep an eye on the fuel. That can go back to the exosuit. Uh, Pugnium, got 90, another 94. Oops, nope. We need 106 nanites. Okay. you anybody new nope okay one over there okay. what on earth is that oh we've got to check them out some kind of flying butterfly thing stay still please 
detection's dropping. Uh, yep, that one's dropped very, very quickly. So let's charge that up. And let's change to the mining beam. Back, we're going to do a bit of hunting. Like these little ones don't want to die. Sorry about this guys, but I'm a, I'm on a mission and I Need to tidy up my missions. Right, we've got 19 out of 28. I think if I can get to 28, that should probably clear out virtually all those missions. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, there's a predator. That should be a predator, just check. Oh, it's a new one. Yeah, volatile. So, this is definitely the right planet be on to get you get the oops there's some solarium there selenium or whatever it's called I'm certainly gonna grab that wait uh, let's see if I destroyed all that selenium yep look I've damaged that so wait push off Here we go, guys. Gotta kill two more creatures, and I would have guessed that that would probably clear up most of those missions. A bit more selenium here. So, uh, hopefully, I won't get attacked and killed this time. Or, not killed, but attacked. Grab that. Wow. Grab the plutonium. Okay. Force me way up over here. I think those are the local predators, so Wow, there's a lot of ah, one way to do it. Right. There's definitely a lot of predators on this planet. It's good. going to do guys is just going to take stock and log okay we'll turn to mission agent actually this taste for more diet return to mission agent return to mission agent return to mission agent return to mission agent so this one here okay, let's just check this one out right we're going to need one more creature for that where are you? Uh, 
plutonium over there. Let's grab that. So I can keep my. Okay. That can go to the there. Top that up. Obviously, blasting away on all my weapons is quite expensive. So. Hello. Obviously, I've got away from where all the creatures are now. Oh no, there they are. Right, let's back. So that should complete page one. Return to mission agent. Return to mission agent. Return to mission agent. Again, unique creatures. Right, destroy sentinels. Turn to mission agent, turn to mission agent, turn to mission agent. So we've done all the exterminations. Anything I haven't done, eliminate planetary sentinels. Could beat up there. See how close I am with that. We need one more. Okay, I wonder what the chances are of finding. Okay. Right guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across this, rove across the surface and see if we can find anything of interest. I think we've already run into these guys. Jump out. See if any of these guys are you. Oh. Okay. Um, obviously this planet is absolutely chock-a-block with hostiles. And, oh, look at this guys. Okay, let's just check my shields. That can go to the, the suits. I can go to the exosuit. What's the status of my exosuit? Pretty clogged up. Okay. That can go to the high capacity. I think maybe that can go to the high capacity as well. Oops, I've obviously been expending iridium. That's okay. And did I actually top up my. Let's just top this up. So I've got the necessary protection. And the first thing we're going to do is grab the damage machinery. And we're certainly going to grab this. Debris. Fire has ravaged the ship's interior. Wads of burned units lie scattered throughout the hold. The pilot lies there. Comfort the diet pilot. Trader. Trader great... Thrusts a tech blueprint into my hands. He dies peacefully and comforted in my presence. Oh, we've got a scatter blaster capacity. Okay. Well, I'll take it, guys. Just check the ship. See what we got here. Doesn't look as though it's going to be excessively useful. No, 16 slots. Not even worth the effort. And what I'm going to do is just grab this guys, warps out, wow, yeah we're going to take that Virgin's Cube Shielding Shard well right guys we're running across this rough old planet I think what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to get back to the ship and whoops, I've got to turn around here, guys. Where's the ship? I can save there. Yeah, and then we're going to fly up and complete out all those missions. And that's where I'm going to wind the video up, guys, because I've just noticed that the time's pushing on. And true, I haven't got all the nanites yet, but what I might do is I'll do a bit of that off. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to drive straight through you. 
Yeah, uh, maybe I'll collect the rest of the nanites off camera, guys, because this isn't really turned into the system that I was hoping for. Let me just grab that plutonium. Just keep the whole kind of everything topped up. Oh, that was a bit weird. Yep, and as I say, and what I will probably do, guys, is gather the remaining nanites off camera. I'll probably do it back on my home planet. Uh, just rove round and see if we can actually find some damaged machinery. I mean, I haven't fully explored my home planet anyway. Uh, maybe I'll do that in the next part. Anyway, I'll see how it goes, guys. Right, guys, here we are. We're back at this base. We're just going to jump out and get into the ship. And, of course, we're going to take off. Use up all these thrusters. I'm just going to recharge the thrusters. Back out into space. Right. And we're going to head straight for the space station. Right guys, it looks like we've got hostiles coming in. So am I going to get to the space station before they arrive? So we might actually be finishing up this part with a... Okay too late too late too late yeah but you've just dipped out guys what I am gonna do is I'm not sure how much of this stuff that we're gonna pick up so I'm gonna Make a little bit of space in the starship. I can go to the starship. I think that might go to the high capacity. Yeah. yeah, I've obviously used up a little bit of thamium. Probably with. I mean, that's one of the th problems you can get, guys. If you're out gathering damaged machinery in that and repairing things you, you don't notice that your resources are actually dropping okay guys here we go well I'll grab a little bit of carbon hello Mr. Geck I've got a massive amount of hand emissions there we are uh, we've got 49,000 credits capacity standing with the merchants guild is there so we've got three compressors which we can sell 88,000 and standing with explorers guild has increased life support module sigma another 78,000 okay <laughs> because we're going to keep getting units because I've got the techs already. Standard Explorers Guild has increased. Alright, we've got some nanites. That should be very, very useful. Yep, yeah, we've got another 116 nanites. That's going to take us right to the end. Another 87,000 credits. Ah, uh, Rapid Fire Sigma. Another 18,000 credits. Uh, neural duct. Okay, what's three neural ducts? Uh, Two hundred fifty-one thousand. Wow, well, I'll take that. Standing the mercenaries guild has increased. Explorers guild. So we're certainly improving our standard. Okay. 88,000 standing with the explorers guild has increased another quarter of a million or over that and any 300,000 and the last one another quarter of a million I think that was quite a profitable run there guys well not for that much effort really when you think about it a brand a well, I'm certainly going to take that. Going to scan five creatures. 
because that's got nanites. So we're going to need that. Uh, hunt predatory creatures. Yep, yeah, we're certainly going to grab that because we can always go back to that planet and gather that up. Hunt low level pirates. So we got a couple of nanites missions there. Uh, could go for a level 5 raider planetary base, but maybe that's something for the future. Right, guys, just to show you now. So we've actually got four missions here. Wow. And we're up to 290, well, nearly 292 million. And just going to have a look at the journey. So let's have a look at our standing. So we are now still on this only associate. Oh, I was expecting to be higher that we've got another two levels to go got some more missions here so not as high as I thought I was with the merchant skill mercenary skills I'm obviously a senior working towards a master we've got another five ranks or so or whatever that is there we've done 35 missions and we're a master with the explorers guild so we've still got a little way to go yet before we reach the top guys and and we've got this here. Oh, we can sell this stuff off. In fact, I think I'll probably go and do that and see what's out in the way of ships because I can hear. Wow, look. a little bit of a collection of ships in here, guys. Uh, actually, quite like that, but that's going to be a low level freighter, isn't it? It's normally the big, chunky ones that are 48 slots. Never mind, let's have a quick look. There, yeah, 39 slots. Though it is an A-class, but I don't. What I want for my freight fr haulers are actually. Uh, how can you say? I want the ability to actually. How can you say carry stuff, not rather than fight. So we'll sell off these off here. We don't really need them, and we'll sell off this neural duct. Gonna give us another 149,000, and I think that's about it. Let's see what he's got for the cell organic piping. It'd be really cool if Hello Games actually give you reasons to buy this stuff, even if it's uh, how can you say they enhance the trading system so that you can buy it here and then sell it somewhere else and make profit. But they to do that, they need a more balanced trading type system I suppose is the best way to say it. I think I'm gonna buy a thousand heridium and I think what I'm also gonna do is buy about another 500 odd zinc because I got through quite a lot of zinc during that part down on those extreme planets. So actually let's go down to about 700 or 600 and what I am gonna do is buy some more dynamic Designators as well. Well, big ship there. Let's just sort this out. This can this can go to high capacity. Oh, I've got one too many. Okay, that might problem. Um, that can come back. And where's the heridium? Put this in high capacity. Well, okay. A surplus I can shove somewhere else, and right it there. I think that. Well, that can go. That can stay there for the moment because I've got plenty of space on my ship here. I want to bring the condensate back so that I can actually put it into the freighter. Bring that that medium back as well because that can actually go into the high capacity suit yeah I, I could do with some extra thermium so the iridium is all stocked up that's there we've got five dynamic resignators so that I can drop stuff when I actually want it actually we've got 240 so just to wind this part up guys oops nope, I don't want to do that do I want to we're gonna go and buy that freighter tech so that I don't forget and do something stupid So here we are guys, we're just going to go rattle off. Uh, that's it, isn't it? 
sure it is. Okay, here we are, guys. There it is. There it is. Right to walk reactor theta. And that is worth it, guys. And got to do it, guys. I've absolutely got to do it. I've got the gold and I've got the necessaries. So let's just get over here. I'm just going to jump into the fighter. There is my freighter. There it is. Hanging in space upside down as usual. And I think what we do need is the solarium. I think if I to the freighter Pranks. Yep, we need the 750 solarium which is going to be up in my storage vault up here because I stocked up I gathered all the solarium together in one place so it should be this way should be in this vault in here there is 1000 selenium and freighter E and there it is guys and I've now got a range of 2317.7 light years that is going to be incredibly useful for getting towards the center of the galaxy and I think what I will do is put what's left of the solarium in there and I think this is where I'm going to leave it guys hope you've enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting obviously I'm going to have to have a, another bit of a tidy up session to store away all the stuff I've gathered whilst running around all the planets and in the next part I think we might be off on our travels again so this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>